Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Flutterwave into your React application. Flutterwave is a payment technology company that provides payment infrastructure, payment gateway, and payment solutions for individuals and businesses to accept and make payments in Africa and other parts of the world. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how you can integrate Flutterwave into your React application. There are so many benefits of using Flutterwave. For example, you have secure payments, multiple payment options, global reach, easy integration, very, very easy, analytics and insights. Now, let's get started. Okay, first things first, I want you to go to the Flutterwave website. So you can go to it by going to flutterwave.com. Now, once you get here, I want you to create an account. Once you create an account, you should be led to your dashboard profile like this. Now. Once you're in your dashboard profile, this is what you should see. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings. Once you go to your settings, you come to your API keys. Now, these are your API keys for your Flutter Weave account. Now, these keys are all in test mode. As you can see here, you're currently in test mode. When you provide more details about yourself or your business, uh, Flutter Weave will grant you access to be in live mode. But we're going to work with test mode because with test mode you can check if everything is running smoothly and then switch over to live mode now i want you to go to your go to npm and then come under the package flutter with react version 3. now this is a very important um installation for you to do once you copy it here you can just go to your react your visual studio code and install it i will be installing it into this my react application over here as you can see i have a button already saying pay for life odds very very simple we're going to click on this button and we're going to pay so go to react application go to your command line and just copy and paste this npm install flutter with react version 3 if you're using npm or if you're using yarn you can use this so once you install that i've already installed that in my application so i don't need to redo it redo that all right so for install for usage you can use it as a component or we can use it directly in our code now we're going to start using it as a component first uh we're going to copy this code here you can see this import flutter with button and close payment model i want to copy and paste it where you want to use it now we are going to use it here so we're going to copy all this code here i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it in our react application here then we're going to go down and we already have a button copy this and we're going to paste this here or we can delete this and paste it here let's see how that looks play with pay with flutter wave all right now let's come into our configuration here and just make this a big screen and more readable for you users now our public key our public key was given to us in our flutter wave account let me just minimize this in our flutter wave account we have our public key here now i advise you use your environmental variables to store these keys you don't want to just put uh, a sensitive key like this in your react application just like this you want to put it in your dot env file so we're going to copy this come to our public key and paste all right so now we have our public key set we have our uh, amount here we're currently using naira so you can set the currency to any currency you want you can just go to developer docs and see the different currencies available but i'm going to be using naira right now the amount i want is 100 naira and payment options you can set the, um, the payment options you want card mobile money and ussd now ussd is also uh it's easier mobile money is also transferred 
and users can use their ATM cards to pay. Now, this is the customer information. Um, for example, if a customer is about to click on this payments pay with Flutter, we surely that user would be logged in and you will have their details. Or if you don't have their details, you can just get their details and pass it into this button here. You can easily do that by, for example, I have some constants here, email, phone number, and the name. So I'm going to pass this constant into our Flutter Wave configuration by just deleting this. So this email, as you can see, will be this constant ninjacoda at gmail.com. So we're going to come here, phone number, and the name. Now, you can also customize it a little bit by putting a title, a description, and a logo. Uh, but I'm not really going to customize that. Uh, maybe I'll just customize this and say live scope uh, payments for odds. Okay, so that's that. Now let's test out this button. So you can see when we click, we have a model that comes up. You can see live scores, what I edited. You can see the amount here, 100 Naira. And you can see the different payment options the user can use to pay. You can use their card, you can use USSD, and you can use the bank transfer. And but you can see the amount cannot be less than 200 naira. So there's a minimum amount for transfers. Um bank transfer, but we're going to pick the USSD option. So the user can just select any bank of his choice. These are the banks available in Nigeria. And you can see when you click the 100, because it's in test mode, it's just going to approve the payments instantly. If you hear that sound, I already got an email from, from Flutter with telling me that the payment was successful. We here is showing sales. Uh, we want, okay, let's just pick this. We want something that will just go instantly for us. Okay, so you said, thank you, payment succeeded. Now we're going to inspect and go to our console. We got an object here and you can see the object shows us approved successful. Um, the amount that was charged was 100 Naira and status completed. Now we're going to go back to our code here. In this constant here, over here, we can do different things with the data we get. For example, this response over here is the response from Flutter Wave. If it's successful, it will tell us it's successful. If it's not successful, it will tell us it's not successful. We can do an if check or we can store this in a constant and then check if the user was successful, what do we do? If it was not successful, what do we do? How can we do that? We can easily come here and say, you can do an if statement if response the status let's check what we got in our objects constant so in our objects we have status completed so we're going to say if we get um response or status that is not equals to completed we want to console log field transaction else also dot log success so you can use this to check the the status of a transaction after the user has finished with the model the flutter wave model um, you can say okay you want to display to user or maybe you want to run a function that happens if the transaction was not successful you can do that here or if it was successful you can do that here now this is the closed payment model now this is if the user closes the model himself without uh without paying or doing anything in the model um on close we can just come here we can this is a function 
anything we want to happen if the user closes that we can do it so we can just say console user closed it himself now let's come back to our application let's just answer all of this let's refresh the page now if we say pay with flutter wave and we see bank transfer p on junior and you see i've made this bank transfer okay you can see you can see over here success which was this year so any function you want to happen if it was successful you can use this check to check if it was successful and then run that function for yourself or if it was failed run that function now we can also go back and then close the model ourselves say okay now we can see just leave all these errors you can see it here user closed it himself so if the user closes the model himself you can you know create a function to check why did the user close this model himself maybe you want to send the user a message what's wrong did something go happen and then give them a feedback or something you know it's very very useful so that's how you can handle it if the user closes it himself so this is one way of integrating flutter wave into your react application very easy very very fast the other way we have is has a hook which is directly into your okay so what we're going to do we're going to also use use this other option we're going to cancel this and this then we're also going to cancel this and say p for odds with float with now we're going to come here so it says we should import use flutter wave close payment model and uh, okay we don't need to do that here so we're going to cancel that and we're going to import this now we're going to go back we we'll see exports let's copy all of this and you can see these customer details we want it to be okay no we don't need this okay perfect now this customer details we want it to be just email we want the phone number to be just phone number we want the name to be just name and then we want to get our public key because without this key we can't run our test mode so we copy this and paste it here now we go back to our okay here now you can see the button on click so we're going to just copy this i'm going to come to our button that we have here all right now come back to our react application now this here is another way of using flutter with react application we've put our public key we've put our customer details we want all the payment options the title here we want to change that to live scores now when we come down here we can see on click handle flutter with payments call back response now this response is the response we get for if the transaction was successful or not now we just want to see response or status to check the 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 status of the transaction now this is the closed payment model this will close the model prog um, programmatically now this is the unclosed function if the user closes it himself we just want to say console user closed it himself okay so we want to go back here and click on our button we want to clear all these errors here you can see it's still running the same way we can choose different options like the cards and the ussd and the bank transfer we're just going to go with the bank transfer here and say we have made this transfer
Thank you for your payment. Now, if we scroll up, we can see success. So this was the, okay, no, sorry. We can see completed here. So this was the, this was the status of our transaction. Now we're going to clear all of this and go ahead and close the portal model by ourselves and see what happens. And you can see here, user closed it himself. So they, this is how we can install Flutterwave to our React application. Very, very simple. Now, once you've done this, you've done all this testing, everything is okay. You want to go back to Flutterwave. You want to provide your question information to fully verify your account. And once you've done that, you can just easily um, switch to live mode and then you can use your live keys and then work with it. So this is how you can use Flutterwave React application. Right now, I'm talking about Remita and different other payment options. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. See you in the next one.